I just wanted to echo what my colleague Je uh, Jeremy said right at the start. Uh, both a thank you for inviting me here and congratulations on, on just everything that is being achieved here, both by my colleagues and, and you as an industry. It, uh, in my role, I'm very lucky to get to travel around the world, visit many of my colleagues, many insurers. And I'm, I'm not just saying this because I'm stood here. It truly has been one of the best visits uh, that, that, I have, that I've had. So thank you very much indeed. So in terms of insurance, um, Jeremy again at the, in his opening remarks touched on the challenges facing uh, financial services and the insurance sector within it is no different. Uh, it's suffering from low levels of organic growth and there's a huge focus on having to take out cost to do what it does much more effectively and efficiently. In addition to that, it's still got a huge regulatory burden to comply with. And on top of that, and again, something Jeremy alluded to, the, the increasing demands of the customer are no different for the, for the insurance, uh, insurance sector. And I think there is a whole issue of trust in addition, which is, is a real challenge for the sector. So not only has it got to deliver on ever-increasing in, ever customer expectations, it has to build trust with its customer base as well. So, uh, but however, I mean, the speed of... of Technology uh, is emerging in the that's emerging in the insurance sector is fundamentally changing the way firms are looking at every piece of I would say the insurance value chain. So looking at how they interact with their customers, the products they sell, and indeed how they settle claims, how they structure themselves. And you'll see here just an, uh, one slide. Uh, looking across. I have one slide that I can see, but it, aha, there we go, right. Um, so I just, just one slide, and, and what you have here is an extract from a, a global survey we, we undertook across 100 insurance CEOs, and the question, we asked them a number of questions, but you'll see here that of those we questioned, 66% worry about new entrants, and that new entrants are going to come in and disrupt their business model. And you'll see additionally 85% are concerned about the different wants and needs of millennials. Um, yesterday I was lucky enough to hear a presentation from the CEO of Pepper Bank, whose strategy was entirely about serving millennials. And you can see here the insurance sector is struggling to work out how best to engage with that cohort. So. Uh, below it, I've just put a graphic which is a small number of insure techs that have come into the market and are beginning to disrupt, uh, disrupt, the, uh, disrupt the sector. And what you'll see is that they're touching all parts of it, um, it, whether it be the front end looking at risk pools, whether it be at the claim settlement end of the value chain, these organizations are touching all parts of it, and that's how we see as a, as a developing trend. There's no one in sure tech that we have seen or expect that is going to, if you like, replicate an entire insurance company, but rather it's about working with existing, existing insurers and, I say, becoming specialist in one component of that value chain. Uh, to date, I, I would say the insurance industry, in terms of keeping up with its competitors, has usually had to look at a small number of large organizations in its marketplace, and that's now very different. So in addition to that, they've got to keep their eye on thousands of startups that are looking to, I say, disrupt aspects of their, of their business. So how is the insurance sector reacting to this? Um, well, many of the large players, certainly the ones that, um, the ones that I'm very closely involved with, are looking very hard at this and engaging with many insure techs. Um, one of my clients has, has told me they'd done over a thousand meetings last year with insure techs alone, trying to better understand what they are doing and how, in particular, they could be brought into their, into their business. And I think that's one of the, the key challenges for the insurance sector, is there are lots of these organizations out there um, how, do, how does the sector best engage with them? So by definition, these, these tend to be small, entrepreneurial, nimble, 
bringing them into an, an organization that's traditionally none of those things, I would argue, and apologies to the insurers in the world, but there is a danger of stifling that which is good about the, the insure tech. And so what we're seeing as a, as a developing trend, and I think this is really the, the trend for the future, that rather than really integrate these, these startups into the, into the broader insurance organization, it's going to be about the creation of an ecosystem where many of these different organizations interact with the, with the carrier, if you like, the insurer that has the balance sheet that's writing the risk. And I say, rather than be subsumed, maybe operate under different brands and actually market themselves around their particular skill or niche offering that, that they have. And I say, that's what we see potentially as, as how InsureTech and the, and the sector are going to interact. And only through that, I think, can the sector truly transform and perhaps finish with this. Um, I was at a, a conference recently of emerging leaders, so I was the only person over 35 on the panel, and I was a, described as the analog member of the panel. But um, they were talking about innovation and transformation, and someone made the point, and I think it's absolutely spot on, that to date in insurance, transformation has really been about doing what the insurance company does just a bit faster, a bit more efficiently. It's never been or hasn't been today about truly transforming, truly delivering protection in a completely different way. And I think with insure, insure techs now and the, the, the evolution that we're seeing presents that opportunity for the sector to truly transform as it works out how to engage with this community and in turn therefore determine what it sells, how it sells it and, and who it sells it to. So thank you again for, uh, for inviting me and I'm very much looking forward well to both to the next speaker and to the panel that is uh, gonna be focused on this topic. Thank you very much. Yeah.